hello and welcome back to my channel my name is jasmine rosette and in today's video i thought we would do a grocery haul since i haven't done these in a while and i enjoy doing them uh, i'll share prices of like what all of this gets you so that'll be like in the um thumbnail of like this is how much it will get you but essentially I went to Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, and Costco, and this is what I got, so I thought I'd share. Some of it is stuff that you've seen before, some of it is a little bit new, or maybe not, but there's there's definitely a few items that are new, and I wanted to share them because they're so freaking good. One of them I have never tried before, but it's from H Mart, oh, that's the other one, H Mart as well. It's from H Mart, but H Mart usually is always really good, I always, like what I try from H Mart. So let's get into this grocery haul. First thing is first. Let me kind of show you what everything's looking like. So this is pretty much everything that I got. Um, also, I got some flowers from Trader Joe's. But yeah, let's let's go through the items and where everything is from first. You can see me, right? Awesome. Okay. We'll first start with Costco. Um, I spent a hundred dollars and one cent at Costco, and this is everything that I got from there. So I got some coconut shrimp. I put these in the air fryer, they're great, and they come with the sauce. They have ones that don't come with the sauce, but I prefer the sauce. I got the Green Goddess salad kit, it's a two pack. So Costco didn't have any green juice. I normally get green juice, but since they didn't have it, I got acai juice instead. So the green juice that I normally get is this one one that has apple in it it's better tasting in my opinion uh, with the fruit of apple if you don't get it it's a little it's definitely an acquired taste other things that I got from Costco I got two of these so this is just one I have another one here but I got me some eggs I use eggs for pretty much everything I've been really liking Trader Joe's Ube Mochi pancake mix. So use it for that. And then I'll have like with a side of eggs and Parmesan um, mixed with my scrambled eggs. I'll also have eggs with rice. I have, I bought a 17 and a half pound bag of rice from Costco. I think it was last year. And I still haven't made like a huge dent in it, but I like to have breakfast with eggs and rice with some sesame oil and coconut minos. That's really good. So I got my eggs. I'm running low on olive oil, so I got some olive oil. I usually get the cheaper one. Um, they have more expensive ones. I don't get that. I get the more affordable ones. And then I got some chia seeds because I finally ran out and I like to have these with my parfaits and smoothies and stuff like that. So these are great. And lastly, I have pumpkin granola that I normally get, but I wanted to try this one. I saw that it was sugar-free and was like, why not? It was a little bit more expensive, but I thought, let's try it. Hopefully I like it. We'll see. And the last item I got from Costco is tuna. I get the albacore solid white tuna and the cans and I will make tuna salad with this, or yeah, pretty much just tuna salad, and I would have like a tuna sandwich, um, essentially. My tuna, my tuna salad is not really a salad, um, I just call it that, but it's really just tuna with mayonnaise, uh, Miracle Whip, mustard, garlic, onion, uh, pepper, and sometimes like hard boiled eggs, and then mix that in. And then I'll have it with like crackers, like saltines, or I will have it with bread. So that is everything that I got from Costco, which cost me $100 and one cent. 
Next up is Trader Joe's. So things that I got from Trader Joe's, I got two goat kefirs. Honestly, Trader Joe's has the most affordable goat kefir. Everywhere else is twice as much of the cost. So I try to get them from Trader Joe's. Pretty affordable, really great. Have them in smoothies, parfaits, wonderful. I got some pancetta because I'm gonna make some pasta with this. So I got two packs. I also got two packs of turkey bacon. So like to have that. And then I also got two packs of gnocchi because this is what I'm gonna make my pasta with. Um, and vegan pesto here along with dairy-free borzen sauce. So basically the gnocchi borzen cream, not borzen sauce, but borzen cream, and the pesto along with the pancetta, I make a pasta of that and it's really, really good. Simple ingredients, it's super quick to make and very fully. So yeah, I'm gonna put that in. Next up from Trader Joe's, I got four garlic chicken garlic herb chicken sausage. I like to have this with my salads or just part of my lunch, even breakfast as well, but I like to stock up on these because you only get four links in one package, so I got four of them. And I'll put them in the air fryer as well. The last thing I got from Trader Joe's, or second to last thing, plums. I normally get plum clots, but they're not ready yet, so they only have plums. So this is what I got. I love plums, but I also like plum cots, which are plums and apricots uh, mixed together. So that was Trader Joe's. Um, oh, and then last thing I got from Trader Joe's were these like tulip peony flowers for $10.99. And at Trader Joe's, let me get the receipt. I spent $76.24 on all of that stuff. I also did a big shop today. So big, big shop for groceries. All right, H Mart. So at H Mart, I spent $19.40. And this is what I got at H Mart. Um, honestly, it's a little sad but it's great. One of them I have never tried before and the other I have had and they're really good. So the one thing I've not tried um, are these, I think it's Kanak, Kanmak, C-A-N-M-A-K. C -A -N -M -A -K. Um, it's Korean rice beer. I thought I'd try it. It's peach flavor. Um, it's basically makgeolli, premium makgeolli. So I've always wanted to try it and it doesn't have any dairy in it from a cow. So I thought, oh, so I thought, why not? Let's go for it. So I'm gonna try that. I have never had it before, but I saw it as soon as I came in and was like, I'm gonna get this. This are gummies. These are gummy candies from Japan. They are from the brand called Kasugai, and they have many flavors. I would definitely choose the one where it's like gummy, like fruity and soft on the packaging because they have hard ones, which that one you would have to suck on for a really long time. These ones you can chew, but they're so freaking good. They have many, many flavors. I like the peach one, which I can't seem to find at my H Mart, but I'm sure I can get them off Amazon, but the yuzu one is my favorite. I've had the grape, watermelon, strawberry, kiwi, and lychee. But the lychee was very much, the lychee was the hard candy, so I still have it, but I worked my way through that one very slowly. But this one, I mean, as you can see, I opened it. Um, I had three of these, they're so good. They are individually packaged, so I guess that's kind of nice, but they're not super sweet. Um, and the gumminess is not hard, like it's soft. And I think the reason why it maintains like a nice soft texture is because it's individually packaged. Um, I get that with the individual package, like that can be wasteful, but 
that is how they package their candy. So I kind of like it so that you're not getting like your hands like sticky when you put it in the bag. Like it's nice and individually packaged. So that's the only caveat. It's not the most sustainable packaging, but it is what it is. But these are great. I love them. And that's all that I got from H Mart, which I'm sure this thing was probably the most expensive. And lastly, what I got from Whole Foods. I got two items. <laughs> and what I spent at Whole Foods was $7.56. So I got this grape cane sugar um, soda. It is Rocky Mountain Soda Company. It's the Grand Teton Grape all natural with um, cane sugar. I really like this flavor. I just got one because I thought I have the beer, which is interesting. I mean, it's rice beer, so it should be like fine. Um, but if I don't like it, at least I have like a backup of soda. And then I got vanilla ice cream. Um, yeah. One thing I've noticed about Whole Foods, <laughs> a lot of their dairy-free ice cream that they used to have they said like last chance on and they really dwindled the options that you can get for dairy free ice cream which i'm not really sure why that's happening but yeah that is everything that i got from trader joe's whole foods and h mart along with costco yeah i just thought that would be fun to like film that video kind of show what you can get without amount of money that is dairy free friendly food so yeah hopefully that was helpful or useful or showed you some things that you might want to try when you're out at h mart costco trader joe's or whole foods and that it gives you ideas of like meals that you can probably like make for yourself and just get like some foundational things things that i'm probably missing which are like scallions and um cilantro like fresh herbs and stuff like that but I am very much into lazy cooking right now, so I'm not getting those items. I'm starting to get the urge to like be heavily cooking in the kitchen, which includes like using my chopping board a lot more often. So I'll definitely share like an updated grocery haul when that happens, when I am in the mood to like start cooking, cooking. But right now I'm in my lazy cooking girl era and I'm okay with that. But anyways, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are well. And yeah, don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.